So where are we up to with this? I am rank 75 apparently, and I need a lot of new parts. So I'm going to go ahead and go online now and smash as much as I can to get new parts. Lots of money, and in general I'm just going to upgrade things. So hopefully this is okay. I'm just going to do this as another chill stream. Let's see who we can fight here. We've we've had a couple recently that are so stupid. Gundam Knight's okay. Strike Buster. I'm finding something I can just pick on. Derp Strike. Gundam Famer? Some of these are really weird names. John says, all these streams happening today. I know, right? I need to upgrade the, uh, the last stream or rather update it. I'm just looking through at what stuff I can pick on here, because I uh, just feel in the mood for picking on somebody. Where are we here? Nameless. Nameless, I've seen a couple of times. Impact Gundam. Oh, go on. He's got a hammer. Is he better than me, though? Let's find out. I still need to complete this, but I'm farming for a load of custom builds. So, let's take on those two. Actually, let's let's see about any of the other ones down here that we can take on for a laugh. Like Metal Bruce. Because this is all about getting parts. Hello, everyone. I see you coming here. So, what's this one? Dead NG's axe. That's going to be interesting to take on. What the hell is that? Kashatria... That one's an interesting one, but I don't feel like fighting it. Ooh, there we go. Desolated Gun and Twin Buster Rifle. Can I take it any more than that? No, four at a time. Okay. Did I put on my my ability here? Because if I didn't for the, uh, the build parts, then this is going to be embarrassing. Is my, my full armor King Gundam still up there, says Gundam Guy? I honestly don't know. I'm just going to smash the living daylights out of everybody on here. When Ion suits up there, you need to bully him. <laughs> no, I don't have it. I've not got the... Uh, I've not got the other upgrades set up here for the, the funnels and things. So I'm at a bis bit of a disadvantage. Let's have a laugh anyway. Let's take the guy with the hammer first. I'm just going to smash the living daylights out of him here and see what happens. I love the way I'm at a disadvantage, but I'm still just rushing him with the hammer, just mashing the living daylights out of him. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I say that and then that happens. So this is my normal tactic for the hammer, just to get them on low health, purely because at a certain point I can do parts break on him, and I just need him to be a little bit further down, so it's a lot of rush in and rush out. I wish my AI would do this against people, that would be hilarious. Imagine if your AI actually played like you, that would be fantastic. Oh, I just stopped one of them from a very large attack there. There we go, that'll be a ground break. Guy with a hammer down and, ah, oh, they got me for the tickets there. I was actually surprised about that. Right, so let's get... Let's see. Who's going to have the... You're the biggest threat at the moment. I did that a little bit early.
He's the biggest threat because he has the, uh, the same beam rifle as me. I think a couple of them do by the look of it. Yeah, that one does on the left. I'm just diving in on him like crazy. Yep, yep, definitely you. Come on. Smash the living daylights out of him here. Go down, go down, and stay down. Come on, I need that certain move. Where is it? Come on, there we go. Ground break. There we go, that's two of them taken out. Missed again with that. I do not like missing. Drop the band hammer, says Ion. Yep, I am. Still need to complete this game, but I've got so many custom builds that I want to put out. I've got, like, builds from months ago. What I want to do is other videos for you guys, so instead I'm farming items. It looks like I could have completed the game twice over by now, probably. It's funny, because this is actually getting my rage out from last night as well, because I am still upset about what happened and how everything went down, so let's take out all that anger on these guys. There we go. He didn't even stand a chance. Honestly, if my AI played, played like this in multiplayer, I think it'd get really annoying for other players. Come on. Let's just hack and slash until his health goes. Come on, get out the stun. Wait, why is it not letting me use my backpack? Oh yeah, because I've not got the satellite weapon equipped. By accident, god damn it. There we go. That's going to be a parts break on the floor now. Once you complete the campaign, you get MG parts. HG, HG parts will feel useless. Yeah. Alright. If I just re-uploaded it. If you're still going to do Bounty Hunter, please have a crack at it. It's good guy. Okay. Okay. By the way, do not... You know, don't pressure me for comments here. I, uh, I've already said I do read all of them. I just, I get a bit stressed out when people are like, are you checking my comments? Are you checking my comments? And I'm trying to get round to them, but I'm also focused on what's going on on screen. Because the moment I take my eyes off screen is the moment where I start getting trashed like crazy. So please do not start stressing me out like that. It's like, trust me, I'll get round to him when I'm at loading screens and other things where there's just nothing going on. I need to go back to my build here and put all the other stuff on, like the satellite cannon and the uh, the other stuff, because I've just been really busy in this. Or the burst action slot satellite cannon. And that one should be shield bit, chest vulcan, heat dagger... Don't need the large beam sword or the shoulder Vulcan, I don't think. Oh no, wait, 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 no. I will put them on. I'm just gonna have to get used to this again. It's alright, Gundam guy, it's cool. I just, uh... You know, I, I don't want to be... Going backwards and forwards and... Stressing out over things. I'm not having a go at anybody, I'm just, uh... I'm just saying, like, give me time to react. Because I'm going to start doing that in future with streams. It's basically just, I'll react when I can. Because I feel like I'm getting distracted way too much trying to answer stuff from everybody. And as a result, I'm really going downhill fast. <laughs> really downhill. His name should be FA King. 
I'll get on it. Trust me, I'll go through them in a bit. I just want to try and farm a couple of these parts off them. It all says, I wish I had Gundam Breaker 3. Oh, hey, Clarksy. Beat the stress off of Gundam AIs. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be fun. For anyone who missed out before, we did some PSO. And that was fun. I need to leave the uh, the link for that in the description. I've got all the, uh, the stuff set up wrong here. I need the funnels to be in or the GN shield bits to be in the the bottom instead of the, the left here because that's what it was the previous time because I was doing a build before and I accidentally overwrote the build the limit breaker so I'm kind of annoyed by that too Let's use ghost edge here and getting close no oh, I say that and then immediately I'm getting wrecked by two mobile suits here. Which one is it? Let's do that. Let's see if there's anything next to me. Come on. Absolutely love this game. There, he's on low now. I should be able to get him. Down comes the hammer. Second one, ground break. There we go. I thought I'd actually get that guy next to me with the uh, the special there, but apparently not. Ah well. Yeah, there we go. AOE just goes straight in on all of them. This guy is going to feel it. He's going to keep swinging the hammer until all of his shields off and then he's as good as gone. Oh! What the hell? The move. Excuse me, coming through. Out my way. Ground break. Come on. Ah. Ground break on him. Oh, he's got his freaking parts back, I think. Come on, I'm mashing triangle here for it. There we go. This guy on the right's annoying me. Let's go for him. Next. That's probably how they're getting the parts off me using... The, uh, the special axe moves that allow you to break parts really quickly. At least it looks like it. The... If I can just wait to get hyper mode for a moment. There! Ah! Now you're screwed. This guy is not having a good day. Now. Ouch! Satellite gun to the face. There goes all his armor. Oh, damn. I wasn't keeping an eye on my health there. I really was not keeping an eye on my health. Funny thing about that, though, is it allows me to go hyper mode straight away. Oh, went past him there. Too fast. I think we'll finish that with a ground break. There we go. And there's just this guy left. I love using the Vulcans at the same time as the uh, the Twin Buster. It's so good for getting just that little bit of extra poke damage. I really do not feel sorry for this guy. 
Bang, there we go. There comes the finisher. Hammer comes down. I wish, uh, let's see here, chat says. I'll have an update on my mech art in chat whenever you... I'm going to get on chat in a little bit, Clarksy. I have Quantum Burst as an X action, says Gundam Guy. It breaks parts very easily. You need to be surrounded. It resets all the actions to full. Oh, interesting. Uploading my gun plan to the bounty list. I know you going to have a tough time with it now, as it's an MG, says Ion. Ooh, hoo -hoo. you have to have a look at that. So what I'm after is more of the Twin Buster rifle. Because I need more long rifle uh, stats and things. So hopefully I should be able to upgrade soon. Because I, I can't wait till I've done Limit Breaker until it's like fully upgraded HG. Because then I want to do the campaign after that. But also doing this will give me extra parts for my other custom builds that I'm doing at the moment. Like let's go ahead and look at the... Oh, sorry, the arena counter. I'm 41 already, so I, I moved up 30 ranks by doing that. Jeez. It's like I came on the other day and I was, what, 1,140th something. And uh, within about five minutes, I was already up to like 100 again just it's so easy to rise up the ranks in this game come on this is the part where I'd be doing chat by the way because I'd been way 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 more uh, happy to oh crap answer stuff like that and I'd, I just press square by accident ah it's like I, I can't wait to get all this done so I can do my custom builds and have my custom builds be as good as uh, some of my other ones. Because I really want them to be faster and stronger. I don't think I'll ever be that high in the ranks again, says John. No, it just takes like 5-10 minutes. One mission, as long as you versus like a load of high-ranked people, and you'll be fine. It was funny, when I first came on it, I was totally rusty and was just like, what is going on here? End up getting absolutely wrecked. And then I was just like, oh yeah, I remember how to play now. That load time though, it's a bit ridiculous. Well, let's see here. So I'm looking for FA King Gundam. And also Ion's one. Which was, um, i trying to remember. Oh, yeah. Empreon Seraphim, that was a good one to fight. Blockbuster Gun, um, I've tried that before. I think I might end up finding some of the other ones further up, or is it lower down the field? Depending on where they are in ranking. Full Armor King Gun, don't think that's it. So I, I still love having a laugh at all of the names for these. Like, Mushra was the... Yeah, the wound wart. Or wound wart. No, I got the, the parts for that previously. Free justice. <laughs> Derp strike. And that one that one's just Gundam Breaker 3. F91 Night Raven? Oh that looks that looks kinda cool. What? What even is that? Um, some of these just look really weird. That's just the standard suit. Like, I can defeat that, no problem. Camphor Tartarus. That's just a load of double O suits mixed together by the look of it. Or a couple of them, anyway. Uh, let's have a look here. You have a sword mace. You might be hard to fight against. Shotgun, sword mace. Atmospheric pack? No. I don't want any of those parts. Nightbringer. Grand slam. No. Some of these parts are just terrible. I keep refreshing because I keep wanting them to be further up the field so I can get more money from them when I beat them. But Let's check chat here. 
That was it, says Gundam Guy. Oh, I'll load it up again in a second. Hang on. Because it'll come round. They always do. I was looking for the exact name that you gave me as well. Whoa, that's a crazy suit. Hello to everyone that's just joined in. Leona says, I never played the Gundam Breaker series, but this looks a lot different from you, Gundam Breaker. It is. It really is. It's so much different. Full Armor King Gundam. There we go. There we go. So I'm fighting another four mobile suits at once. Let's see how I hold in terms of uh, fighting all of these. Including Gundam Guy's suit. Yeah. Edwin Bourbon has more or less said what I was going to say. This game is so much better. There's so much more to it in terms of customization and everything. You just get way more variety. Clarksy says, did someone mention New Gun Breaker? Oh, here we go. Right, let's smash everything. This guy first, because he's in the Unicorn Phoenix, which is going to be annoying to deal with. Well, it's a variation of it. Love the Gusion Hammer. It's just so damn good at bringing the pain. This guy's up in the air and all over the place at the moment, and so am I. Oof. Let's just keep smashing away at his shield until it's gone. Almost gone. Come on, you can't have a shield forever. There we go. Now if I just... Two hammer strikes and he's gone. Ground break. I saw that then. Trying to interrupt me while I'm groundbreaking. Now is this... This is uh, Gundam Guy's one. The huge next target for me. It's actually doing quite a lot of damage as well, which is surprising. Let's keep it stunned with the Vulcans. Uh, wrong way. Come on, I'll take you on. Oh, perfect parts out. Ground break. What? That was quick. What happened? Come here. Oh, that missed. That missed because I was up in the air. I did not want to be up there, but... There we go. Just smash everything to pieces here. For anyone that's in chat, I'll be answering during loading screens and everything, so I will look at your stuff. I am not trying to ignore you. I'm just trying to focus on gameplay, because as you can see, it's all a lot faster than New Gundam Breaker. And up you go. Oh, there we go. I love that combo. Chipping someone up into the air and then beam cannoning him. Get out of here. Seriously. Smash. Oh, and down comes the hammer. And there goes the ground break. So it's only the, uh, the standard gym left here. I wonder. Yep, there we go. Use the uh, the uh, anchor on the waist section to pull it right towards me. 
This is incredibly nasty of me here to do that combo. Oh, and kick it while it's down. There we go, just switching, quick switching through all my weapons here. I'm being incredibly nasty at this point. So the only way it could get any worse if I was in hyper mode and had my uh, shield bits available. Down comes the hammer. And there go another four machines. Let's see what chat says here. Oh, that was a good fight. We should never mention it, says Clagsy. Chat explodes. NGB shouldn't com be compared to any other game, says Heavy. Oh no, I'm not going to attack people who like it. Definitely not. It's just when you look at the two together. It's, I love how fast this one is, I really do. So yeah, I think the Gushion Hammer and some of the other weapons from IBO are really good, says Triple D Gaming. Yeah, they are really good. I'm going to have a go at that again because I'm farming these items out. Keep an eye out for the Astro Yego. Will do, Ion. I put the beginning 30 shield on, as well as the GN field. The problem is that you picked a weaker version of him, says Gundam Guy. Ooh, I'll have to go for the the, uh, the stronger one, then. Definitely put one hell of a fight up, I'll tell you that. What I'll do is, after I've done these, I'll switch them around and see if I can get the stronger version of it. And also keep an eye out for the Astro Jaeger. I love the way the Phoenix is rushing me immediately here. Come on! Give me a good fight. Everything is going down here. It is just crazy. I just I love how fast this game is. It's just ridiculously fast. do more damage when I'm in hyper mode. This unicorn variant, I really feel sorry for him. I'm just chipping away at him like crazy. I think I just got a Gundam guys with the uh, the hammer spin there. I love that move. Oh, somebody got me there. That's the, the backpack gun, so that's the lack of the satellite cannon boosters. That's going to be annoying. We just there we go come on sub the ground break and just get anybody that's near me there with that right where's the other one there it is oh area of effect attack right God, he's a big boy. Let's smash him. Up you go, all three of you. A little bit too late there. Oof. That was close. I just noticed my health there. Seen as this guy wants to have one hell of a go at my shield. Let's have a laugh and keep chipping away at him. Stand still. There we go. Oh, 
go. And I can go hyper mode afterwards. This is ridiculous. This guy is just getting absolutely annihilated. You know when it's bad when I don't even bother groundbreaking you like the other one before? Then again, I didn't really have a chance. It's funny how the uh, the standard gym from the beginning of the game is actually putting up one hell of a fight. It's like playing piñata with them, except that all you get is a lot of plastic in different parts. There we go. Got the Gundam Man uh, Master Parts, I'm not sure. This game looks fun, but is it grindy? Uh, it's a little bit grindy. A little bit. It's weird how your Gundam Hammer turns into a... Oh, your Gusion Hammer turns into a Scythe. Yeah, I thought that too. It's supposed... And it, it's even weirder that it comes under Axe in terms of... Uh, uh, stats. Like, when uh, you're looking for types and stuff. It's like, yeah, it's an Axe weapon. It's like, oh, I thought it was a giant hammer. Anyway, that launch into a radiation is actually like a lot of fighting game combos, this Kai. Yeah, I uh, I try and get them launched because it's just so good when they're in the air. It's like, um, I just love coming back to, where is it, the shop over here and then seeing entire suits for, like, 50 grand or something. Where is it? Have I got any more suits down here? Because I should have some new ones. Oh, oh, what did I go past there? Age of X, Astroth, I needed the Astroth parts if I remember rightly. That's good. My master grade part is still not full. This is just because I keep building high grades. Loads of high grades. Sandrock Custom. I don't think I had that one before. So many suits. Only a couple now that I don't have. And then in terms of build parts. I've got most of the build parts. See if I've got any new pilot suits. No, I don't. I wanted the, uh, the other stuff, I think. The Celestial Being ones at the bottom. Yeah. Right. Let's, let's try and find stronger opponents here. Do you only have Limit Breaker? I personally cycle around a variety of suits whenever I'm satisfied with my main MS is heavy. I have a bunch of other ones. But they're not up to spec, like with Limit Breaker at the moment, so that's why I'm only using that one. But yeah, I, uh, I want to get my other custom builds up to spec, which is why I'm farming parts all the time. Because the idea is to use the, the high-level parts off Bounty to actually upgrade the customs that I've got at the moment, and then I can show them off properly in video, unlike the... The other stuff, I think it was like the the Marvel stuff that I did a while back in the Optimus Prime one. Where they weren't really optimized, so they, they looked pretty damn slow. Let's let's try and refresh here, because... Gundam guy wants a, a proper fight, so I've got to find his suit at the top here somewhere. Over the Rainbow Gundam. Just looks like the, the freaking game Blast Impulse. In fact, the majority of it is literally just Blast Impulse. Some of these are really stupid. You know, in terms of... Just the names and things like that one. What the hell is going on with that name? Yeah. I am Gundam in capitals. Gundam Obvious. Eternal Mugen Gundam. I think I've already fought that one. Shadow Astroth. I don't think I've seen that one before. Oh, interesting. What have we got here? Beam Rifle, beginning 30. MGH, three arms. 
MG Scramble Backpack and MG uh, Amazing Lev A. Wait, what? Don't think I've seen that one either. Let's try and get the uh, Last Raven. Doesn't have anything to do with Armored Core. Get out of here. Uh, there we go, Astray Jaeger. There we go, I found Ion's one finally, and it's the MG version. Come on, Ion, I'll take you on here. Now I just need to get Gundam Guys one in the uh, the second slot. You just passed it. I'm trying to get it in the top two, because that's where they're going to be the strongest. I wish I had this game. I've actually had an idea for a Gundam for the longest, but now I actually have two, says Kai. Hello, Santo. The Max Cloud says, hello. You need to create MG Limit Breaker. Yeah. I can't wait to get round to it. Like, I'm trying to get... Oh, two Astro Jaegers. That'd be interesting. Double up on the Astro Jaeger. No, I'm trying to find Gundam Guys one, but... It needs to be in the top slot to be strong. Because if it's lower down, it, it means it's not as good. Like, there's the Astro Jaeger again for 13k. There's Gundam Guys 1 at the bottom for, like, 6. Because I remember saying, like, oh, I've selected it the last time, and the response I got was, you've not got the strongest version. So I'm trying to search for the strongest version now. It's like, you've gone past it. It's because I'm trying to get it in the second slot here so I can fight against one that's really damn strong. That one's got the Goosey on Hammer. That's cool. Oh, nice. Nice recreation of the Zavanya. I like that. I really like that one. That one's awesome. There we go. That's stronger. That's what I was looking for. Hey, Aquative. Everything's cool. Everything's cool. Have you seen Gundam Mas Austral? That's a good one, says Santo. Well, let's have a look here. Most of these are just... Now, when I'm starting to get near the top, are really unimaginative. Moose! Starscream. Oh, no, Starstream, sorry. Messed that one up. Eh. That's just the God Gundam. That's literally just the God Gundam. Uh, Dark Ninja Freedom. Gold Phoenix. That's nothing remotely like the Phoenix, apart from the head and the torso. <laughs> Night Raven looks cool. I might go up against Night Raven. Especially because it's a Master Grade. Trigger Gundam. That just looks weird. Uh, go on, I'll do a, I'll do this for now. Because of stream. Here we go. Let's see how this goes. Gundam guy, this should be a lot better now, considering I picked it second. So it should be uh, decent strength compared to your previous one. Astro Jaeger's coming charging in, so let's try and take it out first. There's Gundam guys. <laughs> I'm more concerned about melee combat at the moment, to be honest. So, let's wail on Ion Shield until it's nothing. Beat the damn thing like a drum. Ouch, I think Gundam Guy got a Twin Buster Rifle to the face there. Come on! You can hear me smashing the freaking button here. Just in case. Down comes the hammer. And again. Oh, nice. Some good parts there. Nice. 
Nope. Let's stun you a little bit here. Nope, a bit too far away. Shoulder Vulcan should stun. Oh, nope, not enough. Up you go. There we go. <laughs> oh, oh, that was nasty. Right, come here. He can't aim at me when he's lost his head. It's over. Bye bye. Woo, that was a good fight. I enjoyed that one. I really enjoyed that one. See what I got here for parts? Astro Red Dragon, Wing Gundam. Astro Blue Frame with really interesting stats that I can probably use to finish off Limit Breaker. Bob to 6 form with Axe DPS. That'll be good. I wonder what the max for each stat is. I don't think I had it. Uh, Excess Gundam parts before, so that's going to be good to collect. There's yet another Astray Red Frame Kai pack. There we go. Yeah, the, uh, the hammer, as we know, is ridiculously done. Like, where's the, the stats for this? Let, let's see if I can... Go ahead, because everything is almost like high grade. Uh, max level high grade. My melee DPS is like 30k here. Let's see if we can get this a little bit higher. So let's go merge and do package merge. And see if we can merge anything here to make the hammer better. So I need that. It'd be good if I get it like max level. Gundam hammer again. Yes, I will get all of these stats. Thank you very much. And add them to... Come on. Where's more? The... I'm, I'm looking for increased stats on the... The side here. Like, I've been doing this with every single one of them. Is just taking the... Uh, the added bonuses and putting them all on this one suit. Trying to find the 240 for that. Funny trying to keep track of all these stats and how they go up. So then I can add them all on. There we go, enemy kill ripper, that's gonna be good. Um What have we got here? The moment the numbers go up is uh when you know it's gonna be good. The two forty seven on not back. Ninety nine plus stagger. Uh there we go. I'll check chat in a moment. Hey up, there was uh was it parts break option X there? Those are just the other stuff. So if I if I merge all of those now. Parts are registered in a design plan. Which one was that? Show me, show me where. Oh, that beam saber. That's fine. I can take that off. Merge that. There we go, star. This game is so ridiculous, but it's fun. It really is. I'm surprised we haven't seen any themed MSs heavy. Trust me, I have a lot of them. I just, like I said, I need to upgrade them. 
It's like I've got a load of them in the, the saved file for this. Oh, yeah. I need to... This is what I wanted to do was upgrade the uh, the Buster Rifle. So let's induce not back. Come on, give me some new stats here to work with. There we go. Bump up machine gun. Like any advance on these stats is good for me at the moment. Twin Buster, Sigmaxis. You'd think Sigmaxis would give it some decent stats, but apparently not. There we go. Oh no, wait, that's being used. That anti-material rifle is really damn good as well. I'm using it for another build that I literally just did before coming on stream. Uh, the These buster rifles are giving me extra stats here. There, uh -huh, there we go. Shotgun. Laugh if that ma this makes everything like really, really ridiculous after this. It's funny how just a small upgrade in this game can make everything really damn good. Sixty-four rifle DPS. Zanbuster. I think I used that in another build. Yeah, so that's that's it for the uh, the Buster rifle. Crossbone head. Let's see what we got here. Wing Gundam. Optional equipment. Red Dragon. Rifle DPS. I'll have that. Asteroid Red Dragon head. All the parts I've got from like previous fights now is me a lot more to work with in terms of upgrades. There we go. Slowly upgrading. I think there's a trophy related to getting everything to level 30 as well, which I'll be at in a moment, so should get that trophy popping soon. The, that was Gatling DPS. I don't need that. But did it upgrade the rifle DPS? Yes, it did. So, okay, fair enough. Do that then. Nope. This is looking really good in terms of Start upgrades at the moment. There's all these other things from before. Uh, the so many parts. This is why I've been grinding it out, just so I can get all these upgrades, and also, so I've got, like, almost infinite money at this point. I actually have a police MS in GB2, says Heavy. Nice. Team doesn't follow a theme like police, Halloween, or things like that. Oh, I don't have one like that, then. Might actually do that, though, in future. That'd be really cool to do. Oof, the amount of stats that that give me, though. Come on, where are we? The, that gives me 609 to uh, recovery. I'm just, I'm constantly looking at all these blue numbers at the side and seeing which one of them's in, increasing and which one of them isn't, so I can get a good read on everything here. Oh, that's being used in something else. It's the only problem where stuff's being used in other builds. Let's see where that takes me. 29. 
It's not too bad. Arms. Yeah, they're already... I mean, I can get stats from that at least. Let's have a look. Axe DPS. I needed that. Do you have melee DPS? Because I always need more melee DPS with this suit. Nice. This is looking really good so far in terms of upgrades. This is probably one of the biggest upgrades I've had in ages because I've just been farming for ages. I'm like slowly going through... Ah ha ha. The, slowly going through parts to get all the stuff I need on this one suit, but... It's going to be worth it. still think it's funny because it's just a HG. I want to see if I can get the Master Grade this good. Or better. There's one there. Banshee? Banshee gives it more axe? Okay. Weird. Legs. The legs were on 29. Try getting Master Gundam's DG cells and Musha Gundam's nickel armor. Oh, interesting. Don't upgrade everything until extreme difficulty. Oh, well, that's, uh, that's going to be a problem then. I've already upgraded. Um, I wish I'd known that before, but it doesn't matter. Oh my god. Look at this. This is ridiculous. The amount of stat bonuses is stupid. Just when you thought it was safe to upgrade everything. <laughs> the, that, that there gives me more durability. That gives me more knockback resistance. Gusion legs give me more durability. Again, I'm, I think movement speed or physical resistance. Oh, some of these are being used in other builds now. Damn. There we go. That's a lot of stats upgraded in one go. Backpack. Here we go. You're going to start over with Master Grade Pads. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I'm still going to do it. Let's see, a double O riser, asteroid red frame backpack. Surprisingly, the, the gym three gives me some really good stats there. I'm glad I've been farming parts for a while now. Really, really good for doing upgrades like this. But, that's a really good choice of parts. Almost done as well with all these upgrades and then we can get back into smashing people's Gundams into tiny pieces. Oh, 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 I saw that there. Have I got any more? Any advance on that? There. And there. 
Oh no, that Axia backpack's being used. There we go, the double X one isn't though. There we go, satellite cannon's been upgraded. Shield! I need the shield upgraded. Right, anti-beam shield. Here we go. Oh, what the hell was wrong with that field shield? It'd give me like a load of added bonuses there. Wait, what? Uh, ABC mantle gives me a lot of added zones. So does that one. Mega beam shield. ABC mantle again. ABC Mantle again? What is it with ABC Mantle giving me lots of added bonuses? Jeez! What was that? No, no. I'm looking at the, the bottom left for points there, and I just realized that all these are going to be used at the top. Right. That's a star there. So that's everything apart from the torso. I'm going to I'm gonna max level this torso. DG Cells gives you auto heal, and Nickel Armor gives your armor percentage. Oh, nice. Do it like me, Moody. I got the MG parts and upgraded it to yellow, and then did the per merge. Yeah, I think I will do. Well, let's see here. All I need to do is just level this. So if I just merge this with a couple that are fairly high level, should be fine. Because there's no point using plastic because it costs way too much at this point. Is there any higher up here that I can use? Yeah, there we go. Dark Hound. Oh, the O. That'll, that'll take it over the threshold there. There we go. Bang. So that should be fully upgraded now. Yeah, there we go. Finally fully upgraded. Once the my melee DPS has gone up by another... 10,000, I think, though. That's ridiculous. Let's have a laugh and see how it goes. Um, can I do that mission again? Yes! Higher quality plastic costs less to use. I think it's mainly because, like, I don't have loads of high quality plastic, so when I try using everything, it ends up costing loads. Come on, versus the Astro Jaeger and uh, Gundam guys won again. See how these upgrades do. Come on, let's go for this. Lost his backpack. Nope. Trying to call them even both of them there. <laughs> Not happening. There goes the Astro Jaeger. I think that was actually quicker than the first time. Come on.
Ouch! This is just... This is just really nasty of me at this point. There we go. I think this is actually... Yeah, this is a lot easier now. There we go. Just wait until you get new type difficulty in the first DLC mission, you're gonna get ragged. I think I'll spend a lot of time upgrading then. Oh, that was good. Dave has evolved, says John. It's not so much that I want fire support in this, like, literally, this is just me having a laugh and just chilling out and upgrading stuff. Let's let's see who else I can fight against in here and actually see where I rank now. Because before I was like, what, 74th? Oh, now I'm 24. So I've jumped up 50 ranks. These loading times are a bit ridiculous. Like, I swear it's going on for like half a minute at least. At least it feels like it. There we go. Oh, over the rainbow Gundam. I'm, I'm going to take that. It just, it sounds pretentious. And all it is is a modified blast impulse. I'm going to wreck it. I don't even know what that one is. You call Plan B. That one is the modified one that has the Phoenix backpack. The uh, Banshee Dawn armed armor stuff, and then I think it's the the full armor. You call and other parts. Emerald Excalibur. Can't quite see that. Hyper Mega Rifle from the new Gundam. Double bullet strike freedom Zeta. We'll take it just because of the stupid pose it's in. Well, let's see what I can get here. Night Raven. Sounds kind of cool. Sounds kind of edgy. Dark Ninja Freedom. <laughs> Still sounds a bit stupid, that. Eh. Ah, it's just a gaudy color scheme. I'm going to take the Zabandia one because I really like that. That looks, like, really creative, so... Shame I can't take, like, six Gundams at once here. That'd be really fun. Did you hear the Plan B is getting its own high grade? Yes. I found the random naming quite hilarious. Cosmo Star Gundam, anyone says Kai. Yeah. There are tons of edgelords in this. That's why it's funny just to pummel them to death with the hammer. We found Freedom's alter ego. Oh, Forbidden's alter ego, says John. Or Dark Ninja Freedom. Oh, I get you. Yeah. Here we go. Did he have the hammer on his backpack, though? I love the way I'm just sat there with them all wailing on me for like a minute. And all I had was the, uh... The GN shield bits on. And I still managed to block that. So let's take this guy out first in the uh, the overdone blast impulse. Up you go. One of them already in Transam. Jeez. What is even going on here? Down you go. Can I just ground break that guy? Thank you very much. I love the way they just keep crowding me for stupid melee hits, which is not going to work.
I actually used that a little bit too early. That one that looks a lot like the Zabanya, or is literally just a, a class play build of the Zabanya, I might have to hit that next because of its rifle. Right, satellite cannon. Stay right there. I'm actually evading that Transam blast by the look of it. Oof. Yeah, ground broke him and I didn't even realize what was going on. Oh, took my arm. Just, uh, just stay there for a moment. There we go. Ooh, arm again. I'm trying to bring the hammer down on him from orbit and it wouldn't let me. Now! There we go. There's another ground break. The hammer man, it's so ridiculous. Let's deal with this guy. I really do like this Zavanya build. It is so cool. It's just unfortunate that I have to wreck it. And there we go. Stood over him for a second, contemplating, and then just smashed him in the face. Yeah, the, uh, the Gushan hammer is absolutely amazing for breaking in this. Hidden Level says, I only got this for Vita and it's still fun. I might actually check it out on Vita at some point. It's probably the same, but be interesting just to see if it is or not. Induced knockback. Ooh. Okay, that was good. Let's see who else we can beat up here. Yeah, the IBO stuff is particularly good in melee, obviously, but... Oh, the hammer. It's like the wrench base is good for just grabbing people and throwing them, but the hammer, just for sheer output of damage, is ridiculous. Like, the, the sword mace is really good as well from the lupus. I wish they would make them so your gunpla didn't swing every weapon as if it was a beam saber in cutscenes. Reminds me of God Eater in that detail, says Kai. Huh. Let's, uh... Let's just wait and see what happens here, because I want to see who else I can fight. Here we go, more edge lords for the slaughter. Bushra, that one's the just it's just a wound wart. That one, dreadful one. Is uh, it's not getting any parts that I really want. Crimson full sun. Oh, I'm gonna have to uh, refresh this now. Gundam Majesty MG. That was the one that we fought before. Rajin. Rising Gundam Wing. Mark II Strike and Double O Riser? It's a weird combination. Reverse Reborn G. Strike No Age Fortress. Yeah, go on, I'll, I'll take that. That one looks interesting. That's the other one. That's the... Uh, the one that looks like the... Fenix. Gonna break a three. That one looks really silly. 
Gundam Knight. I fought that one before. It's not too hard to beat. Impact Gundam. That was the one with the hammer again. It was funny fighting that one. Dreadnought. Oh, come on. Let's fight Dreadnought. He's just so edgy and huge by the look of it. I want to see how big the, the thing is. Because it's a HG. Like, that one is MG. So that's going to be big, but... Let's have a look here, because most of this is parts farming, uh, farming, and the other bit is just having a laugh and wailing on people. Hell. Oh, that's the Dragon Gundam's backpack, isn't it? Or at least it looks like it. Yeah, the Dragon Gundam's body, sorry. Gundam Zen O2M. Huh. Interesting. Now yeah, I'll pass it that. Uh, Saint O'Neill S3. What her name? Oh, I'm gonna take him. Derp Strike. No. That's another one. What do you say with the black and red? Seriously, I know I've made jokes about this before, but jeez. Shadow Astaroth. That was, uh, the other one that was using a mix of MG and HG parts. There's Gundam Guys one again. We've already fought that one. What the? Why do the arms look huge on that one for some reason? And it's got the wrench. No, Twin Mace, sorry, not the wrench mace. Just B. I'm going to fight that one because it's just B. Man, if I join you, says John, I am just chilling out, to be honest. If you think the hammer is broken, try the combining twin beam sabers with the beginning 30s field shield. Huh. I'd like to show off my wine bonus, if that's okay, says John. Maybe next time, John. I'm literally just doing this as a chill stream. It's like most of today is just chill streaming for me. I mean, after this, I think I might try and get some other games done. I, just, I need to progress with some of the other games before new ones come out. There's so many new games coming out. It's like the end of the year and everybody's just like, let's pile them out. You know, can't keep up with all of them. My new Soul Calibur after this. Demon X Machina doesn't play as fluidly as GB for melee combat. It's armored core with lighter controls. That's pretty much it, says Kai. I'm still going to get it. Still going to get Demon X Machina. It looks so good. Take out this first guy here as quickly as possible. Whittle down the ranks with the hammer and see what happens. I just broke somebody's backpack off already. What is going on here? There's just parts flying all over the place. I just. I actually wondered what my GN shield bits were there. I was like, just wondering, what the shields? Well, this guy's not doing too good against me so far. Whoa! That was a nuke going off. I would like to ground break. There we go. Was that ground break? Did they stop me from ground breaking then? No, they didn't. Up you go! Oh, interesting. You, you with the field shield. Or at least it looks like one. Come here. What is it with that nuke sending me flying? Seriously. Don't know what to focus on more. The guy that got me with a really good melee hit. Or the guy that's setting off nukes every two seconds. Yeah, 
He's not looking so good. That field shield kind of reminds me of like a plastic hamster ball at the moment. And that it's going to get wrecked if it gets hit hard enough by my hammer. Give me my head back. There we go. And ground break. Seriously, all of these shields are just cracking as if they're eggshells. Come here. I'm going to nuke going off right next to me, and I'm still going to have a go at him. He's got a heat uh, whip as well. Let's take this guy out first, because he's got less chance of standing against me. Smash and hammer. Next one should be ground break. Dead Space 2 playthrough, Dave, says John. Oh, God, I'd have to start it. I may start that eventually. I'm getting around to so many games at the moment. Daily streaming of so many games. Yeah, it's the Kushashria arms. It's so dark because of the color scheme. I couldn't even tell what its parts were before. There we go. That's another four mobile suits put out of commission. Red Wolf Vions also got GBO too. Oh, finally. He's been doing a lot of new Gundam Breaker stuff. He might have moved on to it because there's nothing left with new Gundam Breaker. Yeah, that that giant suit was literally just all a mass of dark colours. Oh, there we go. I went up another couple of ranks, so I went from 24th to 18th. Why do people always make their suits red and black? Surely there are other edgy colours that aren't overly saturated. Yeah, it's... I don't know. This is what I was saying when we were having a laugh on GBO2 when John made it his colour scheme for a little bit. I, uh... It, it's a stereotype for, for edginess. And I come on this and there's just so much stereotypical edge, it's ridiculous. I could cut myself with it and with it. Well, there we go. There's the uh, full armor King Gundam at the top now in terms of uh, strength. Oh, that's a new one, but that's that's green and black. That kind of reminds me of like Razor or something. <laughs> Go on, I, I was going to pick I Am Gundam before. Let's... Stampede is literally just the heavy arms, but with the Gusion Hammer and the Gusion Rebake Head. I've fought that one before. It was pretty easy to deal with. Ah, there we go. Austral. Looks like I'm fighting that one. Santo, didn't you say that was yours? Just checking chat here. Oh, I'm going to lock that one in. Uh... I'm an emo, uh, emo boy, says John. <laughs> Moose looks like he's all for the uh, melee there. 
So we got versus Santos. I just gave him the normal Gundam, normal Gundam colors with a gold tint, says Gundam guy. I gave mine the uh, the same colors that I used on my armored car ages ago, which was like the grays and the blues and stuff. There we go. I think I will go versus just those two to have a laugh. See what this is like. I just seem to be taking on everybody from stream today, all this. It's just like, right, come on, where's your AI? I love the way we've got the G Gundam theme in the background as well. Come on. I don't know who I should be going for here, so I'll just smash the giant one because it's got a huge hitbox. The guy behind me keeps trying to get in melee hits and I'm just not bothering with him. It's like, do me a favor. Just stand back for a moment while I work. Right, that's one gun. See how we deal with this guy, because he actually does some ridiculous melee damage. Down comes the hammer. Off comes the shield. Smash him into the wall. Ground break. That was good. That was good. At least I'm getting way more um, parts here now. So funny, I built a long range suit and the AI just stands there until it gets bashed in at melee range, says Santo. Yeah, you I mean, my AI probably isn't any better, to be honest. My AI probably gets slaughtered. Because I think, Ion, didn't you say you'd beaten my AI? I was trying to remember. The AI just seems completely useless for some builds. Which is kind of annoying. You'd think that it would learn from what you do in game and then try and use that on multiplayer matches. Or for like bounty matches, but... Obviously not. I've never beat or played your suits as I am. Ah. No, 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 Clarksy, you're reading too much into that. <laughs> you are literally reading way too much into that. I did not mean it that way. Grenlong Gundam. It's just a green Shenlong. I think you never uploaded it to Bounty Hunters as I am. Huh. I'm gonna have to. If I haven't already. Gundam Knight keeps coming up there. Ugh. 
Email from hell. What? I'm getting that one in here. Just the name. That one keeps coming up every single time I search. That one's going to die. So you're saying it should be Smash Bros. Brawl's AI, says Kai. Yeah, what I'm saying is like, with the... Um, with the amiibos and stuff, they learn and they get better. And it just keeps going and going and going until they can beat proper players. I reckon they should have done it like that. You know, they learn from how you play a game. And then when you upload them to Bounty, there you go. You know, you can stand a really good chance of... Uh, Run into somebody who has a really nasty AI. That would be a really cool concept, but they kind of missed out on that one. Over the rainbow Gundam, seriously. I'm, I'm going to go for that one again. I've beaten it before, but... Free justice. Black and yellow. Can't see half the mobile suit because of the pose. Perfect build. Come at me then. Right. I think what I'll do is I'll make this one my last match of the stream. So let's go out with a bang. And then I'll do a couple of other streams as well. Because I want to complete some more games. Or at least get further in them. The stats just change depending on the GP, says Gunham Guy. Huh. The heck is this music? This music does not sound good. Let's smash this guy in. There's funnels, there's beams. Hey Dave, are you gonna leave that link for PSO says John? Yes, I will, John. Do that in a bit. I appear to be stuck in what looks like a tornado attack. And I appear to have also lost what looks like my backpack. Yep. Come here, you. You're causing me enough problems. Ground break. Oh, the perfect build's using the hammer. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh that's interesting. Oh. That's interesting. Using the hammer. Come here, you. I see that one beam sniping me from the right there. I'm trying to prioritize targets here. I'm definitely going to take the guy with the hammer out. Even though he's running off. Get back here. And this guy with the, the spear I'm going to take out. Because I've fought against him before and I know what his melee potential is like. Oh, 
Oh, there we go. Down comes the hammer. Ground break. That's most of the team gone now. Just this one last suit. Wasn't this one like Ninja Freedom or something on Dark Ninja Freedom? Yeah, it was. I recognize your suit here. How the hell is he doing half my health bar that quick? It's interesting to know. And I want to know how he's doing it. Right. Come here. Now. Just, just stay there for a moment, please. There we go. Use up the entire gauge until there's nothing left, and then... Ground break. Oh, that was a good match. That was a really, really good match. I'm actually surprised they got me there as well. Ended up having to use one ticket. There's the hammer again. I really do like the, the Zaku F2000's dead NG. It looks really cool. Got a large assortment of parts here, of which... That gives me 3,000 plus axe DPS. Jeez. You just don't do that to a dude that already has a ridiculous amount of DPS on the hammer. What's that one? Nano laminate armor. Parts break repair. This is cool. So, I just leveled up as well. Hey, Kaiser. So yeah, I'm going to take a little bit of a break. I shall get back to you guys later. I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next stream. Bye!